I'm Roy Robertson. This is Good Business San Diego. This morning, we welcome back Jim Battrell. He's a former U.S. Marine and the founder of the Jim Battrell Real Estate Team with eXp Realty. You can reach Jim at 1-833-600-SOLD, and Jim has the buyers.com. So, Jim, give us the state of the real estate market right now. What is your housing forecast moving forward into the second part of 2023? <laughs> well, that is a big question. Um, so, what I'll say, there's a lot of promising trends that are happening right now. Despite all the uh, the articles and the statistics and stuff like that, but me selling real estate every single day, boots on the ground, I will tell you that what I am seeing is a stabilized market and I'm seeing prices increase a little bit. Now we did come off 22% off of our highs from last June, but I'm starting to think that the decline in real estate market prices has already happened. Um, I'm becoming very optimistic, barring something that's completely unexpected and unforeseen, um, but I'm starting to think that we are, have seen the biggest decline that we've had. Okay, we'll be through this. Let's talk about some of these statistics then, because everything's pointing to the fact that we're still trending downward. Are you saying that these reports are wrong then? No, I'm not saying they're not wrong. I'm not saying they're wrong, but I'm saying that they're not timely. Um, let's talk about the okay. definition of statistics. They are based on historical data. They're based on the past. They're based on what's already happened. Um, the problem is when people look at this historical data, and it's either presented or they believe that it's real-time information. Uh, let me give you a perfect example. Um, what was the massive real estate story that happened last month, March of 2023? It was in every single media outlet, every single article, whatever it was. It was that real estate prices, house prices, have snapped their 131-month consecutive right price increase streak, housing prices are still not going down. Well, let me ask you, when did housing prices actually start going down? Uh, I don't know, but I know that we have been talking about it for some time, so yeah. what's the actual data? Uh, it was July, last July okay. of 22, so it's nine months. So uh, the analogy that I would use on this is anybody who's using the real estate market statistics to help them make financial decisions, real yeah. estate decisions, it's like driving your car down the freeway, but only looking in the rearview mirror to keep your vehicle in its lane, right? <laughs> Can you do that? Right. Yeah. Uh, is it smart? No. Are you going to last very long doing yeah. it that way? No. It's just plain uh, dangerous, for sure. Yeah, so let's look forward then, uh, given the market cycle. So when do you think would be the best time for somebody moving forward to buy a home then? Well, what you can't do is time the market. That is a terrible idea. It just doesn't work. Um, especially, well, there, there are so many people out there right now. We're running into it in daily, where people are saying, I'm going to wait for the bottom of the market before mm. I buy. Well, I have a couple questions for them. How are you going to know that the bottom is there, right. right? Are you using the real estate statistics to tell you? Because I think I just, you know, slaughtered that one. Uh, I will guarantee you that if you are trying to time the market, uh, you will miss the bottom. Um, I remember being an agent back in 2012, uh, driving around real-time boots on the ground, and I remember the moment that the market actually corrected and started going back up. So if you decide to wait, I mean, you think about how much money did that cost those people that waited back then that were trying to time the market, mm -hmm. all right? In the first nine months of that market correction, prices went up 8%. So all those people that are trying to, miss, or that are trying to time the market, they yeah. missed that 8%. So that's because there is a lag between the statistics yeah. and the real-time reality of what's happening right now. So my advice is do what I'm doing right now. Go out there, buy a house, it's 22% decline, lock that price in. Um, as I always say, you don't wait to buy real estate, you buy real estate and then you wait. Yeah, right. And uh, you can't rely on these stats, these lagging indicators, because they're, just, they're, not, they're not accurate. So yeah, they're not. for a complimentary consultation and to get a thorough explanation of this market, call Jim Patrell directly. 1-833-600-SOLD. That's 1-833-600-SOLD. Or you can go online to contact Jim at jimhasthebuyers.com.